It is often referred to as a sport for the elites, and while names such as Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus aren't synonymous with golf, the owners of the Roaring River Golfing Course in the West are trying to develop the sport in Belize. This golf course opened in 2004, uh, so it's you know, 16 years, almost going to 17 years of, of golf in Belize. Before that, uh, we had Key Chapel, and if you could know about Key Chapel. Uh, Key Chapel has been the only golf course in Belize as you could say, uh, regulatory size, because uh, here, the longest hole you'll find is about 290 yards, but when you go to golf courses outside of Belize, it's, it's, you, know, you have holes of 500 yards, 400 yards, so it's a very different feel towards while well, you're playing golf, but yes, um, we've had golf here since 2004, when River River was, was opened, and um, it just, I guess people in Belize don't really know about it, because there's a misconception that golf is for people that are of higher class, when in reality it is not. The Belize Golf Association is trying to change just that with a program to engage more Belizeans in golfing, building on the foundation, having recently been recognized by the National Sports Council. It was more of a leisure um, sport. You know, you came here, you had fun, you, know, you played with your friends. Uh, what we're trying to do is making sure that golf has a future in Belize. Um, and the way we do that is trying, trying to incorporate more players Obviously, kids, uh, we started a beginner's tournament, uh, we started a female's tournament, uh, but I think the, the biggest project that we have um, coming is called the Belize First Team, which is trying to incorporate kids. Uh, kids could come and play for free, by the way. Um, as long as you were a parent, you could come here and play for free. Rodrigo Barrera says this is about ensuring that golf has a future. Over the weekend, members from the Galen alumni participated in the sport, including athletes from other sporting disciplines. I came here on Thursday to practice, and they brought um, Galen Van came here with the staff members and some students, and the practice went really bad for me. It was my first time playing golf, and I hit the ground more times than I hit the ball. It was really bad. I even hurt my hands, so it was really bad. <laughs> How has the experience been so far today? Very interesting. I came here very disappointed. I'm like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be good at it. And I'm doing very well. Out on the nine-hole golf course were Open Your Eyes host Gavin Courtney, as well as News 5's anchor and professional volleyball athlete Brighton Codd. Oh, the golf that you see on television is totally different than what actually is in real life. Um, I developed a greater appreciation for the sport. Um, it's something that I look at on the television. I'd, I'm just bored looking at golf, but it takes a lot of patience. Uh, it's a lot of mental. And there's also a lot of technicalities that's similar to other sports, for example, in volleyball with the hips and in golf with the hips. Um, so you, you develop an appreciation for the sport. I was relying on some skills that I learned about 10, 15 years ago. Luckily, <laughs> they still kicked in and I didn't come in last. <laughs> <laughs> and I had fun though, honestly speaking though, it was a really fun experience. Um, it is a lot harder than it looks, I could definitely tell you that. Um, but even with that said, I think it's something that a whole lot of different people could should come out and try. I had a great time, uh, we played nine holes of golf and it took a few hours, but it was a, it was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Between Muda for News 5.